What's up everybody? Today we're going to be going over attribute sets. Now to get started, we need to add a new C++ class of type attribute set. Go ahead and search that. I'm going to call mine tutorial attribute set. Feel free to call yours whatever you'd like. Now, after this is done compiling, the first thing we're going to need to do is add a new include statement for the ability system component. Next, we're going to define a macro. This is going to save us a lot of boilerplate code uh, down the road. What this will do is it will create a getter for the property itself, as well as a getter for the value of our property. It's also going to include a setter for the value. And lastly, it's going to include a knitter for the value. Now that that's all done, let's go ahead and create our first attribute. Attributes will be U properties of edit anywhere, blueprint read write. Now this property is going to be replicated using a function. We'll come back to this in a minute. Now our property is going to be of type F gameplay attribute data. And let's just create a max health attribute to start. Here we're going to use that macro and you can see it's going to save us a ton of boilerplate where we don't have to rewrite the property getter, value getter, so on and so forth. Now let's create a constructor for our attribute set. And we're going to override the get lifetime replicated props. This will ensure that our attribute set is multiplayer ready. And lastly, we're going to declare that replication function we referenced earlier. Now with replication functions, they always take the old value as the parameter. We're all done with our header file. Let's switch over to our CPP file. Let's start by declaring our constructor. Our constructor will be very simple. All we're gonna do is initialize our attribute with some default value. Now we're going to declare our override for the get lifetime replicated props. Now whenever overriding a function, especially one that is an unreal function, it's always important to call the super of the function. This way we don't unintentionally break something. Now let's declare the on rep max health. The main thing that this needs to do is it needs to notify the ability system component of the updated attribute value. This can be easily done with the gameplay attribute rep notify. Now we will set up the replication for our attribute. In order for this to work, we're going to have to add a new include statement. And that will be of net unreal network.h. If we did everything right, our code should compile and the editor will launch. Awesome, looks like it's working. Lastly, let's add this attribute set to our character. Let's create a new U property Edit Anywhere, Blueprint Read Write. And this will be a pointer to a U tutorial attribute set, and we'll call ours Attributes. Make sure to add the include statement. Now, with Blueprint Read Write, we need to make this property public. Switching over to our CPP file, let's initialize our attribute set. This can be done with the create default sub object, pass in our type and give it a name. We'll call ours character attributes. Again, if we did everything right, our code should compile and the editor will launch. Now, if we look at our blueprint character, we will see it has an attribute set with a max health attribute. 
Thanks so much for watching everybody. Check out our next video where we'll go over gameplay effects.